What's up guys? This is the Brokeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Unpotted War Let's Play as Spain. So to pick up where we left off, we have successfully invaded Dublin and we are going to destroy this small force on our way to Edinburgh. So let's crack on and destroy them and we are slowly building up a, f a fairly veteran force here. But let's destroy them. Um, they are mostly... Uh, this army, is, the vast majority of it consists of uh, clansmen, so they are the melee infantry, they do have pistols, but they seem to only use them in weird scenarios. So when uh, when they have an opportunity to use it, like you're standing still within range, they don't shoot. But they do shoot in the they do shoot you in the back when they should be charging you. But whatever. So let's set up our uh, battle line. I do want to take things. Fairly steady, because I only have one army. I only have one army and there's no, I don't want to uh, lose too much of it prior to sieging Edinburgh. There's a chance I might not even assault Edinburgh, not in the traditional manner, because uh, I don't really have the best troops for it. I've got pikes, but my actual infantry body is, is okay, but I've not got very many... Well, I've got too much uh, relatively light cavalry. So right now I'm content to uh, just take this opportunity to blast the bejesus out of some bad guys. So load and fire round shot at whatever targets you see fit. You guys can limber up because this flank is going to pivot. So, push that cavalry unit up far. Ooh, you. It's not the best position for you guys either. <clears throat> so, let's take. I see their cavalry charging, but I'm not gonna worry about that. They might fence their chances, but my, I've got light infantry here that can do some good damage. It's a regiment of horse, but it's a depleted regiment of horse. So let's get my cavalry slightly further out. Sorry about that. Um. Cavalry in. Let's get my general up around here as well. The Irish Brigade. I've seen them off. So just keep bombarding. This cavalry just goes set up on the hill. Although it's probably not going to do too much. You cease fire. Okay, there we go. So it's worth doing a little bit of charging. A little bit of pursuing against enemy cavalry. But you do also want to kind of... Uh, know when to quit. So when there we go, the battle line has been joined, we are pouring a massed musketry onto the enemy, and this is where we want our cavalry to be ready. So these poor clansmen. They are charging, claymores in hand. Yeah. But it takes it takes a lot of uh, a lot of will to do that. I don't think you guys are in uh, just out of caster shot range. No, or oh, accidentally limbered when transitioning to canister shot or back to round shot, I should say. Let's bring my general in to pursue to chase the militia. run you guys away from the Highlander Warband. So do you guys want to almost exclusively focus on routing troops? And if that means we have to forego our artillery and push up 
to continue the route, then we will. Get out of there! And yeah, we're discovering all of their hidden clansmen units. So... These guys all advance ahead of the village. As you can see, it looks like what's going to happen is they are going to... They, they will prefer to chase down my cavalry rather than actually engage the line. Which isn't the end of the world. If I can keep my cavalry... If I can keep my um, cavalry running around giving them targets to focus on... If we can break the 6th, there we go. Do you continue to attack them? There we go. So they're starting to realise what's happening. Not the most efficient layout. So if I take you 4, cut the corner. It's not as efficient, but we do need to start pouring the fire on at some point. They've all gone hidden. Okay, so now the reason why I didn't do anything with my artillery is because I didn't want to uh, jump the gun. There we go. On grenadiers. Pour fire in. This might be a good opportunity to gain some uh, experience. I know I'm making my cavalry tired by making them run around all the time, but really don't want them caught we don't want them caught uh, standing still like you try kill those clansmen my general's doing a good job chasing down the militia you guys can hit the sixth regiment I want you guys in to hit that highlander warband unit the grenadiers are pouring fire in a point blank range and there's artillery coming in All my guns focus on that unit towards the rear. I'm aware that he's close to my other cavalry. He's close to my other cavalry unit. Okay, General's taking him out. So you guys continue. Slice and dice the provincial line. These guys are coming in to hit that clansman unit. You're going to knock out that clansman unit. My general doesn't run too close in. You guys cut down these clansmen. We're coming after your your uh, your kin soon enough. I actually, get my general to go straight through against this regiment. These guys are going to be fired upon by the Irish regiment. A few fell. falling as the other regiment has also started to engage good everyone's chasing down somebody then right we're going to continue let's stop all our artillery firing let's stop these guys from stop these guys from firing because this regiment of force is now available chase down. Now it's a case of just keep on clicking. Ok, 
kill their general. Well, their captain, really. We have a, ge a proper general. So these three units all focus on that regiment. They've been knocked out. This might be a... We've killed their, their entire um, force, which is the perfect outcome. There we go. There might be some people that survived due to being wounded or whatever. I don't know. Empire can be a bit screwy. Yeah, see, it says they have 20 men remaining. I'm fairly sure they don't, but whatever. We only lost 38 men, and actually more of those we lost due to enemy, due to friendly fire. Back you go. So my army can be replenished with my, ooh, with my weak treasury. Advance to the high ground. Edinburgh. Ooh, we probably do not want to... We probably don't want to assault that city, because they've got lots of clansmen. So we'll probably put it under siege. One thing I do want to do is take my sloop. I was advised to do this. I think it's a good idea. To go have a look. Go have a look at London to see if it's exposed. And it's not. London's garrisoned. With John Churchill. So there's a chance that they will be sent... Oh, this ship's going to get caught. There is a chance that they are going to get sent. They're going to get sent to uh, try and fight against my force. So they're not. They're attacking. So I'm going to end up wanting to take some reinforcements. Really. So these guys that have just been recruited in Madrid, they're going to land at Bilbao. The general's going to stay where he is, as is the militia. But this light galley is going to sail okay, just over to Waterford for now. Dublin can't provide any meaningful reinforcements beyond militia, because we are also at war with the Ottoman Empire, so an attack from that direction is going to come sooner or later. So I might actually um, transition the bulk of my surface fleet over to Cartagena. Okay, so in terms of attack, we're doing we're doing okay. Let's hit end turn. Let's get some more money. They want peace. Ooh, that's good. They're asking. They want. They want peace. I mean, granted, they are demanding technology to do it. But it's good they are asking for peace. Because then we can... Uh, it shows that we are in a good position and that they don't want to fight us. Which is great. If we can knock, knock out Great Britain, that gives us another university. So another thing you guys have advised me to do multiple times that I haven't done is give New Spain technology. So I'm, I am reluctant to give them military technology outright because the AI has a bad habit of giving technology away to other people. I don't like that. But if they're landing to attack the Barbary States, then have at it. Um, but yeah, the AI has a bad habit of transferring technology around, so I don't really want them to do that. But I'll give them economic technologies. Because I'll, I believe I'll be able to spend the money better than the AI will. New Spain. How much give these basic technologies? Plus, yeah, I'll give them the lot. Give me five grand for it. Cheap. Oh, what? You can't even do that. Fine. Three grand. There we go. I mean, I went from saying I'm not going to give them stuff to fine, I'll give them all the stuff. Okay, you guys put Edinburgh under siege. They are depleted. But I'd rather they sally. 
So this light galley, you embark, you go to get to Glasgow, disembark your troops, you men take position here, actually you guys just go chase down, there's only 20 of them. Oh, it's cavalry that fled, I see. Okay. So we've been building farms in Cuba. Got more plantations. Let's upgrade the port, because is Cuba running... Yeah, Cuba doesn't have port capacity to export everything, so let's get... Let's get this port upgraded. Is it the same story for Hispaniola? It is the same story. But we do need to keep some Walloon line. Newman built some line infantry because I do want to push against the Barbary states because we're already at war with the Ottoman Empire. Build another fifth rate because we do have we have one being built and I might actually move my actually no you're okay there okay yeah you guys you guys hold because there might be another British army storming up that we can't we don't actually know about so maybe that might be a good idea to occupy Liverpool to give us more visibility over the, the north and middle England. So I don't think any of these... Well, they won't trade with us because they're a protector of the Ottomans and we're at war with the Ottomans. What if I, what if I offer you my entire treasury? Fine. Trade agreement, tech, two technologies. Good stuff. So at 6,400, got a lot of trade. <clears throat> got a lot of trade we could upgrade, well we will, um, spend more to uh, in increase the production of our... Ooh, here come the army. We could spend more producing... Um, well, we will spend more money in Cuba to increase the production of trade goods. The British are coming, so we might have a large battle near, um, a large battle near Edinburgh. Oh no, the Mughals are coming. Good, sail straight through. Do what you like, as long as you're not landing on my territory. At some point, I do need to invest in Naples as well because we know how valuable Naples can be. And need to go kill the pirates as well. So many things to do. Okay, so average yield, me yield. Basic governor's mansion building as well. So great the high yield sugar plantation to get more products to market. We don't have any visibility on how big the army is. Let's take this ship. Sail them around to Bristol. See if we can draw them south. So these... Walloon line infantry. Get to Bilbao. My sloop is going to come and hopefully pick them up. Because these are, well, they're regiment of foot, but they've got foot guard levels of numbers. So let's keep keep boosting our capabilities. So don't, we don't know how depleted this army is, because it is depleted. It might be the same as Glasgow, where Glasgow's actually quite weak. But I don't want to attack, because we've got, you know, a full stack to the south. If we attack it and we lose a bunch of men, 
that's really, really bad. Let's get the Ordnance Factory to continue our research down the artillery tree. We're about to get um, this weaving spinning mule. Um, probably don't need to upgrade your bolter. We've got 2,300. Cagliari also needs money spent on it. Let's get the weaver's cottage built. And then let's get... We'll get something to occupy Toronto, because that will become very important. I'm surprised the Ottomans haven't gone for it, really. But yeah, soon, once we've broken the back of British forces... Oh, okay. They demand peace. Are they going to go and try and take Ireland? That might be what they attempt to do. But I'm wondering if France is... Okay, that's the Italian state's land. It's not mine. Good. Oh, I got spooked from it and thought, wait a minute, that's me! No, no it's not. Not in this campaign. Good, New Spain. You're helping clear out the pirates. To be honest, I'm perfectly happy with Spain being an almighty power. It would be a bit of a execute order 66 moment when we finally turn on them. Like the Mughals, I'm more than happy for the... Oh. <laughs> they going to attack Sicily? Well, that's that. No. Okay, so now we've got the Indian factions uh, pecking at us. But usually, at least when they've taken something, they'll be happy for a while. Nuts. Okay, we really need London's research capability as well as as well as her money. Because I really want to boof, boost my uh, navy holding the Strait of Gibraltar and make it so that no one gets in unless I want them to. There was a lot I could do about that. Agent recruited a gentleman in Spain. Good. So let's get you over to Salamanca. So Salamanca, you, well, we've just researched. Spinning mule, and you want to go on to flying shuttle. That might not be a bad idea, but I might also want to do utilitarianism to be able to boost my schools and maintain my research speed. We lost Naples. We got the spinning mule, which is good because it help build, helps build up our tax base. We lost a, a lot of money actually from that attack. So I may have to just attack, which it won't be too bad because they've got a bunch of weak units. And I've got these armies, this army in support. Trouble is, if I, if, if I had Belfast, I could. Stop them from being able to cross. But if I sail out now, they will. will sloop, light galley, Jebek, fifth rate. They haven't really got a navy. But then again, neither do I. So let's build some fifths. But I think we do have to push and attack Edinburgh while we can. I mean, I should have. I should have done it sooner, really. Um, I think my uh, raiding of Liverpool sort of galvanize them to come out and attack me when otherwise they wouldn't have or well, that army would have pushed it, uh, pushed out when otherwise it wouldn't have done um but we're going to make two breaches pikemen are going in they're going to go in the breaches and we're going to assault supporting the breaches rather than having a separate effort so pikemen and the regimento de sevilla plus two line infantry are going to go in Around the left. Well, through the breach, then, like, maybe up on top of the wall. My armoured pikes are going to go through... Actually, I've already picked them. My regiment of foot pikes are going to get backed up by... 
this infantry and my Irish Brigade. My Grenadiers are going to hold the gate. As are my Light Infantry, I suppose. And my Cavalry are going to wait for gaps. So all of you, make a hole. See, if I quick climb, my god. Let's make a hole, then we'll make another hole, then we'll push up. Infantry will go through the gates. Infantry will go through the breach, but we'll also attack up and up onto the shoulders of the breaches as well. Thirty-four percent in one attack, though, is not bad. Islander warband with their hatchets ready. But you men, keep loading and firing. We're going to make our way inside. My other units are getting damaged. I mean, if, 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 I mean, we won't, because that never works. Never really works, but if we could trap them on the wall, that would be great. But that never normally happens. Boom, 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 boom. But let's make two breaches. Then my, my line will push up. Actually, to be honest, I could push up now. So you men with your Regimento de Sevilla formation. These pikes with their Irish Brigade formation. Grenadiers at the centre, line infantry up the centre. Cavalry waiting. Oh, there's a cliff face there. Waiting to exploit the gaps. Because there's a lot of men in these breaches to fight through. My pikes aren't going to do it alone. My pikes are critical because we've got these all this cavalry. Ooh, we did get some kills. So you men attack this section here. Try and damage it. Cavalry is in position, so I'm going to speed up time because I have no howitzers to do stuff anymore. I mean, are they? They are. Form Pike Square. You guys halt and fire. Don't fire. Because I never get to see this and I want to see it. I never, I've never ever seen a regiment of horse attack a pike square. So how do they do? I mean, obviously not great, but we've lost 20 guys. There we go. Well, that's one cavalry unit dealt with. But if I can send some units around to say capture, capture these sections of the walls, capture the gates, as well as having men in the breaches, that's got to be good for us. Let's speed up, just to let them get a bit closer. Okay, so let's start running. See, there's four. I've got four units of infantry supporting this attack. So you, Regimento de Sevilla, get around the flank. We're going to put two up here to help support the unit in the breach. The Grenadiers are going to run up to the gate to form square. So let's do the same here. You get... Two units of infantry directly in the breach for help. But these two are going to push out. My artillery is going to focus fire on the 23rd regiment. Actually no, keep attacking this unit because that's actually working. 
We might be able to attack, capture this section of the wall uncontested. Pike wall formation. E-man form pike wall. E-man form square. Oh god, the clansmen are actually coming out. Well, they won't. They're going to attack someone else who isn't us. So get my cavalry in to plug the gap while these guys climb. You guys secure the shoulders. You men push up. You guys stay out of the way. Get my cavalry in. Okay, the cavalry's committing. Abandon the pike wall. Get in there. Again, the cavalry's coming in, so where's my cavalry? Good. So you men get in there. Clear out that regiment of horse. So we've taken that, so we've taken the gate. Grenadiers continue to hold the central point. Pikemen push through the push through the breach. We've got more cavalry to take care of. These men here are going to mass on the wall before doing anything. I mean, if, if they'll let me run... Well, I don't want to run my Grenadiers in alone. Not when I've got relatively easy targets like this to fight. Some Tertia Pikemen are there, ready. To be honest, you run around the flank. Get the Provincial Cavalry in. You men have Clansmen to fight. So I really want to commit my forces into the breaches as and when completely necessary. Like I want my pikemen to have done the bulk of the heavy lifting before I send my guys in. Same reason why... Infantry down off the wall. Actually, no, they can't. They have to fight their way through the pike, through the clansmen. No, pikemen, don't fall back. Okay. <clears throat> Quite why they're doing that, I don't know. But let's send in. Send in the troops. Do you men around here? You guys fight the general's bodyguard. Let's try to remove them of their command element. See the Highland of Warbands are doing okay. So you can't actually get in because the gates are closed. Regiment of horse. You men keep running. So the pikes are making reasonable progress against the Highlanders, but I'd like them to make better progress. You men get off the walls. You men attack the general.
So they formed square. So get my provincial cavalry out of there. Keep, get my pikes to come in. Throw another unit of infantry in. So my, can, my cavalry start to attack their cavalry. You guys run off the walls. The Highlanders are suffering. No, get away from those guys. Because they're in a breach, they're in a square. You, but then again, I do have cavalry stuck there, so that's part of the reason why they don't want to move. Get you guys in to join the combat as well. Actually, you guys might come over here to support the men attacking through the breach, because my pike, my pure pike men are going down. Get this cavalry around the flank. This infantry is about. Well, will. I'm going to make them kill the Highlander warband just to make sure that their problem is dealt with. You men actually go fight the guys in the breach. You men charge down. Also fight the guys in the breach. Chiefly, I want to keep my infantry in good shape because. We know we will have an infantry-based attack coming through. So there goes the infantry. Good lads. Get you guys in as well. Let's spread out the, the risk to my men. There we go. The garrison is broken. Well, nearly. There they go. Now the garrison's broken. Just keep attacking them, because they'll all die. There we go. Good stuff. So that is Edinburgh secured. So if I attack you, John Churchill, how's your army? Not great. So if I retreat you guys back... Edinburgh doesn't hate us entirely. Let's make you guys replenish. So we've got eyes on now. If I move my sloop out to here... They can't really go anywhere except attack Edinburgh. Good... Okay, let's hit end turn. Well, so the French have taken Savannah, the British have sieged us, but we're going to Sally in order to fight them on the field out, out front. I think it's in our interest to do that, because otherwise, otherwise they will sit there and deplete us when we've got the better force to just push them out. And to be honest, when we push out, we can just keep going. The Barbary State's just getting chewed up. Naval shore facilities research. Excellent. Yeah, keep going down the naval track. You do need to boost our little armada. So we've got some port upgrades. So I might... Oh, four and a half grand on a tobacco warehouse is a lot. And these are all not great yields either. Let's build one sugar plantation, then hop back to... No, actually, let's not do that. Let's hop back to uh, Europe. You're getting fifth rates. Let's bring these troops back. Not to within the range of their zone, but so that we can go. Huzzah! Because they, they might have some good in, some good um, mil, um, marine units, but we've got some pretty darn good troops too. So we're going to Sally, and we're going to push them back. We're going to regroup, repair our stuff in Edinburgh, Build a church school to begin to convert them to the true religion. And then we will push down towards London. London might take a bit of holding. 
yeah, London will take a bit of holding. There we go. Look, for, so sometimes the, the the game just decides, yes, your walls are repaired, even though we definitely shot our way in. There we go. Solid infantry centre. This is why I wanted to be sparing with my infantry, because I did want them to be strong for a follow-up um, attack by John Churchill. So ordinarily what you can do, um, if you are so inclined, is to put men on the walls back here to get extra artillery. But I don't need it. Actually, I might put my light infantry on here. Everyone else, open up. Ooh, they deployed a unit of horsemen right out on the flank. But yeah, that's not many men at all. And if we accept they've probably got some hidden clansmen, then it's not going to help them. And our artillery on the walls are really going to help. And they're light infantry, so they can provide some useful... They can provide some useful um, capabilities at range with their muskets. Yeah, there we go. They they are completely aware that they can't they can't just sit back. Just keep blasting them the round shot. Oh, that was pretty awesome. Okay, you guys. Fire it will off temporarily just to let my my uh, grenadiers get there. So is that hidden? That's a hidden unit of line infantry. But there we go. So now this is it: the garrison of London, the only troops that stood between us and the capital. And they are now getting chewed apart by my artillery. So let's keep my keep the targets going. There we go. Get our cavalry up on the right flank just to go swarm the 34th. Actually, they got they do have some stuff out here. Bring my pikes over. You guys blast that formation on the hill. Actually, no, don't blast all of the guys on the hill. Send some cavalry in. They're all falling back. So let's get my... We do have a regiment of horse. Although, to be honest, we're not really bothered about destroying them because they do have um, like we do have a few battles to fight after this so we not, we're not if we were immediately doing a blitz maybe provincial cav versus regiment of horse no 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 let's run some guys got caught we'll keep going run through the square Draw the provincial cav in while we draw in my tercio pikes. My artillery switched to round shot. Engage the artillery. You may attack. Well, one of you guys attack. Hold the regiment of horse while my pikes get in there. Because my pikes will go in and clear them out. No problem. My infantry is going to clear out the 32nd. Okay, you guys break away. Now the pikemen are involved. Yes. Attack the enemy. So now our... Their cavalry has been... is being intercepted by our other units. We can send our cavalry to just run past them and chop them up. Because I mean, I know I did say we don't have to fight them, and that's perfectly true, we don't have to fight them. Because this militia, if they, if, they, if they pushed against my gun, they'd have a great target.
You guys hit the marines, you guys... You've ceased fired. Cease fired. Go after the gunners, let's turn my light infantry fire it will off. There's the general's bodyguards, let's switch to round shot. Folks fire the generalissimo. These 12 pounders are done for. I mean, they're trying to limber up, but I don't think they're going to get the. I'm going to get the time they need. You guys have three units of line to take care of. Everyone else is falling back. It's just the general's bodyguard remaining. You guys hit the marines. General's pushing forward. Send in the Tertio pikemen. You guys stop firing. Although he's probably going to rout there. Yeah. Lost a lot of men, went down to nine troops. I'm gonna continue. You guys should be able to, yeah. Two units of marines, that's hard to ignore. General attack this unit of marines, tell our artillery to stop firing it looks like they have they have elected to spin around and kill one of their gun crews through friendly fire the second regiment of foot destroyed Churchill himself has escaped Chase down those glorious marines. Chomp. Okay, so that furthest unit is done for. Well, they're going to rout for sure. Let's get everyone to try and hit these. this last unit of marines. The core of the British Guard force destroyed. No ship, no marines on ships for you guys. And we did get them, they haven't routed. Sweet. So we've crushed the British on the mainland. They only have 305 men remaining. So our army. Let us do something like this. So the general can advance with the core of with the core of good infantry. With two good guns. Let's combine some of our cavalry. Let's take Okay, no one else can be combined, strictly speaking. Guns, cavalry, grenadiers, and tertiary pike minister in good nick. You men, march on to London. This sloop get into Glasgow. We need to get, we need to get Glasgow repaired. So let's get the conservatorium and the government council. Actually, we can get them all. We can indeed. And we are probably actually have no villages. Dundee hasn't grown yet, or isn't growing. Let's repair the trade port and let's get. I might rec okay, recruit a sloop here as well to garrison the port. Good stuff. So that's quite a devastating attack. Okay, we should get the dockyard next. And we are going to recruit another unit of colonial line. Because we might not need we won't need many to push on Algeria, it's just if they decide to do anything else. Um our ships, even though they might just be light galleys, they are going to come back to the mainland to occupy our ports for us. So Cuba is well, Spain's our most profitable region, backed up by Portugal, 
backed up by Dublin. Scotland's down in fifth. But we'll soon fix that. Good stuff. So let's hit end turn. Let's keep some of their armies running around trying to prevent us from besieging their ports. And you, you might seem like we are... That's cutting our nose off to spite our face because we are going to end up capturing those ports. But I think it's worth doing. Once we've secured Britain, we can do a lot of investing in other places because we're only at war with Mediterranean nations. Well, relatively Mediterranean nations. We're only at war with... Um, states and regions within the Med. Please, nations want peace. Go on then. Let us not appear overly warlike. As it is, that, that this this episode has gone rather well. I'd like to get to a position where I don't um, I end the episode while oh okay they damage the conservatorium you guys keep preparing Francisco Fajardo onward to London so let's go break the fishery 3200 Okay, so Lisbon's got a lot of upgrading it can do. The Royal Observatory is quite good. The Imperial Palace would be also good for Madrid. So I'm going to get the Royal... Well, do I get the Royal Observatory? We get more gentlemen. It gets us town wealth. But then again, Grand Opera House is a lot cheaper. I may as well get the Royal Observatory if I'm not concerned about happiness. Peace treaty signed with the Plains Nations peoples. Morocco's got some line infantry and is a fifth rate in the Irish Sea. The beginnings of an Atlantic fleet. So the arts of these troops here that are actually relatively good neck, they can push up to join Mr. Fajardo as well. At some point, Galway in 22 turns, Dundee in 32, I'd like to get... Um, well, I, I will have to destroy this chapter school and replace it with a Catholic building in London. 700 gold. Let's build a gun. And this, this army will be ready to push onto the Barbary States. Obviously, we must expect them to really not like us being there and for them to push back and attack us. But I can keep, once we've pushed past Oran, we can keep this shipyard occupied and that'll, pre that'll prevent them from building ships to attack us. Okay, let's hit and turn again. Because we have to uh, recover from the loss of Naples. And the way I'm going to do it is by taking North Africa. Well, actually, that's just reminding me. There will be British territories to gobble up in the Caribbean as well. They might be worth taking. Maybe I take Britain and consolidate... Well, while I'm also attacking the North African regions, I also continue to... Uh, I also continue to push against their former colonial holdings and the pirates as well. Maybe that might be the best outcome to maximise uh, our, our income. Slowly build a force to keep pushing against the uh, North African states, but focus on dominating the Caribbean, because between us and New Spain, we will be quite the power. Yeah, that's a very good idea, I think. So... We are a proto-gunner, Diego de Cordoba. Congratulations, sir. Oh, we can't build colonial militia. If I build a colonial military barracks, can you build some West India Company infantry? Perfect. 
Five turns, though. That's kind of lame. Oh, well. New town emerges. La Iridia in Portugal. So I wanted to turn this into a... a university. But I don't think I need to. Because I'm going to go, I'm going to go take London. Which will have one. So I'm probably going to build you... Turn you into a craft workshop. Start to really boost our... Income. That will almost double our industry outcome. There's still Faro down there to the south to upgrade, which will also become industrial. Oh, be worth a lot of money. Let's put them under siege. It's a lot of troops. But we've got a lot of troops as well. Who is anyone else in better nick now? You are. Let's just bring you guys down. <laughs> bring a bit of cavalry down. Uh... So you guys are still replenishing. So while that's upgrading, I may as well build another artillery unit because we know that's coming. And we can't rebuild. We can't do anything. We won't be able to repair London anyway. But let's take Francisco Castillo Fajardo. Take his army. And he is going to attack London. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of Great Britain. Cheers, everyone.